So we have our roast. We're just gonna cut off the fat. Now we're just gonna cut big chunks. Could just That should be good enough. Creole. Black pepper. Onion powder. Garlic, which is almost gone, but don't worry about that. Elbe. Smoked paprika. A little bit of cayenne. Olive oil. Now we got a pot. We're gonna get it ready. Now we're gonna get some olive oil in the pan. You can see the pan is pretty hot already. So you're gonna add your meat. I'm going to cook this for about 7 to 10 minutes. If you start to see it burn a little too much at the bottom. See, can y'all see that? Like over here. If you start to see a little too much burning. Always add a little chicken broth because we're going to use it anyways. And you just pour it a little bit so it just keeps from burning. Right now I don't need any but that's what you're going to do. It's been about 10 minutes. That's how this meat is looking. We're gonna go ahead and take it off. So this is all the good juices we want. Now we're gonna put our veggies in. We have two bell peppers. We have one whole onion. Just cut it half. Eight. Garlic cloves, maybe about six because I cut two of them in half. They were they were big. We got a whole celery. Everything's all cleaned up. Green onion, two boxes of beef broth, Worcestershire sauce, liquid smoke, soy sauce, better than bouillon. Minced garlic, some Louisiana, some sriracha. So you're gonna cook this down for about three to five minutes. And you're going to start to add your beef broth. Yeah. I know when I have more house, but my kids eat. Just because I love the hell out of garlic. I'm a garlic girl. Y'all see that? Two hefty spoons. Hefty spoons. Some of this better than bouillon. It's a big pot. I don't believe it that much. Now we're just going to add the meat back in. Now we're just gonna let this cook for about an hour and a half. Now we're gonna medium to low heat. Um, I did put the lid on, but I came back and put in the green onions. We want our green onions now. Before it started to boil. And we're just gonna let it cook. Now I'm gonna prepare my shrimp. And I'm only seasoning it with some Creole and some black pepper and some minced garlic that's pretty much all that it needs and that's gonna be it i'm, I'm gonna just gonna saute it with some butter until it's done so now they pretty much done so i'm just preparing my eggs in this little egg cooker it's about seven eggs 
and then I'm going to get my noodles started with some olive oil and some salt and then I'm just going to go ahead and add my noodles. Everything's breaking up. Put a fork in it. Not quite. So you see that it wasn't really done right there. So I let it cook for 30 more minutes and I came back and this is what happened. So now that we know it's done and we know our noodles is done when they stick to the wall like that. And this is just how we're gonna plate our bowls. And we just throw on a little sriracha on top. And this is pretty much how it came out, y'all. It was so good. Make sure, as always, y'all like, comment, subscribe. And give me some more ideas in the comments.